Okay, test one, two should be running. Uh, four people won't ring right now pre stream because bullshit. Uh, I... For some reason, VC Face just absolutely refused to be captured until I restarted my computer. And when I restarted my computer, all of my desktop items, which I had sorted, all got shoved onto the fucking side in a batch. So now I have to go do that again. Uh, at least the game is starting up slowly but surely, but yeah, not a good start for a stream in a game I've already... Ubisoft just fucking connects. If there is one more technical difficulty, I'm just... I'm just calling it on the stream and maybe even on this fucking game. Because, oh yeah, it it may say Prince of Persia, but it does not feel as Prince of Persia. It feels like a knockoff. Yeah. Yeah. A knockoff or a rushed job. Like, I forgot the spirit of Prince of Persia in it. Yeah. And okay. can you also screen share? Give me a second. Ugh. Yeah, today has not been... A good day so far like most of it's yes but just technical difficulties on top of technical difficulties over and over again now so yeah, let's just continue Paris is often called the oasis. Uh. okay this is where we ended up last time now let's see that causes that and hello marco Hello, Marco. Let's, do we need to move something on top of this? Or will that just stay frozen? Okay, that will stay frozen if we keep it as such. Uh, but that raised the question of where the hell we need to go from there. Hope you're doing better, Mark. Yeah, hope you're doing better than me today, Marco. Let's see. There is that over there that we could probably jump to. But then the question becomes, where to from there? Up. There we go. And of course, a bunch of knockoffs. Like, one of the things that makes this game feel not Prince of Persia, beyond his messed up face, is the fact that we can't pick up sub weapons. So, like, that, really? Yeah. Like. I kind of miss them in a way. Yeah, it, it combat has never been the strongest point of this series, but yeah, even it, even that uh, just added a little bit of more depth and just being able to experiment around by just button mashing different <laughs> two buttons. But this is just yeah, this is just your most basic hack and slash. Not even anything more than that. Like, there is some acrobatics that we can do, but other than that, just it's just boring. I'll just fully say. Like these I, shield I, I, guys oh. add a bit of diversity, but even th this is just shallow as can be compared to the previous games. Yeah, and, like th this is an example of all. I think they're trying to do more enemies, more awesomeness. But they cannot miss the point. Yeah, they completely missed the point and then even failed to rewind past it. Yeah. yeah. And I, I kind of hope the spells that we can learn is able to spice it somewhere up. But if that fails, that means they, they had many good ideas but due to they needed to get it out in time for the movie many of the, the things that could have been good but keep undercooked yeah uh, so honestly if the game does not improve or impress in this stream i'm just likely to say fuck it this is not prince of persia this is claims to be prince of persia and then we'll just wait until the last throne arrives before we well continue with the series yeah but look the last last throne at least looks more like an improved old school Prince of Persia. So that one at least has some footing he can uh, stand on. 
And if this fight is anything to go by with three of these summoners, then... Yeah. I, I feel like the... I feel like this is just going to devolve into you know, absolute most basic hack and slash. Yeah, but if, if you want us to do hack and slash like this, give us some more special moves. Yeah. To deal. Like... The only Many special moves like at the moment that we have is the kick and just jumping on top of something. And even that's not much. Yeah, for if you're gonna do like this, like you see here, then there needs to be some skills to balance it out so it doesn't become a slow drag. Like, yeah. on the Prince of Persia, you had a better for, for enemies. And it could take a while, but at least it makes sense that he had to be tactical in that way he had to fight each opponent. Yeah, they they each had some slight differences, but this this thing is just this thing is just a meat shield meant to slow us down. Yeah, all of them are basically. So just yeah, some it, it feels better than the others. Yeah, it, it just feels like uh it feels like these fights are put in for padding, not for actual enjoyment or some anything. Ugh. But yeah, we'll see. I am just I am just in a bad mood, so that is likely just inf affecting everything I say and how I feel th with things. But still, yeah. Uh, th th again, they have some cool like that with the water. They have all these small, cool things. But uh, they, again, uh, the best I can describe it is... Well, besides obviously being a rush for the movie, because I've repeated so many times now, is... Yeah. It, it, it feels like they, due to it, they were unable to capture the spark. Yeah. Uh, like, let's the, see. a bit of the soul, you could say. Marco, this game looks weird. The last throne does look like the Prince of Persia that you played before. And yeah, th here we have just Lemon Face. I'm just going to call him that. Uh. Okay. Wrong move. So I I'm, I'm just... I probably should have just called off the stream because I'm already in a bad mood. But at least I want to get some progress made with this, since we did miss one stream already. Yep. Malik, it seems I am not the only one who has gained power. In all my life, I've never seen sorcery like that. The seal is affecting your mind. You must stop this. Why did you ask for my half of the medallion? Do you truly want the army gone? Or were you looking for a way to control its power yourself? If you won't stop this, I will. Give me the medallion. No! It was a question. For you anyone else, I would execute you for treason. Leave this place. And don't return. Wait! That could have gone better. Like, the banter is still pretty good, but I'd say it's the only positive about this game. Yeah. He accused me of treason. It doesn't feel as good as the others, mostly because it's so little in a way. Yeah. What am I going to do? I'll never convince him and... to the medallion now. <clears throat> probably thinks I'm mad. Okay, and re I'm doing generally well, but it's just technical difficulties that have been just absolute bullshit. Uh, come on, move around already. And of course it peters out. And up. Uh, there, and there. Okay. Let's activate the next ones. <clears throat> like there's a, there's a lot of silly stuff in the series that can be overlooked. Ooh. 
power. But if the rest of the game could still be enjoyed en enough, the combat and such could still be enjoyed enough that uh, the silly th stuff could be overlooked. Like all this madcap architecture and such. Mm. Yeah, I've also asked some other people who have played the game and they agree that this game just feels out of place. Uh, I agree, and again, as I said earlier, it has all the components, it should be good, and should be able to feel like Prince of Persia, but again, it's the spark. Uh, okay. And then we just go through the water when it's not solid. There we go. Uh, let's see, Marco, what technical issues were the ones that made you mad? Well, for... I was trying to uh, I was trying to play on a server with my with modded Minecraft, but for some reason, like nine out of ten times when I tried to connect, it would just rubber band me back and forth, even when I was doing nothing, and then just disconnect me for no apparent reason. And then when I tried all the you know, listed fixes for that issue, none of them worked. Literally none. And yeah, just. After that, just for some reason, VC Face decided to go, uh, nope, I don't work anymore. And then I had to restart the computer, and well, then all of my sorted icons got fucked over again. So, yeah, I'm just really not happy with all of that. Yeah, understandable. Uh. Okay, the Royal Chambers. And... Actually and Hmm? Yeah, upgrades available. Yeah, we have one available. We can go up here, another one for another energy slot. Then just two more, and we should have double health. Or enemies and oh no, it's enemies and vases will give you health spheres twice as often. Okay, so it's not ener it's not actually doubling our health. It's a doubling energy drop, health drops. Oh come on. That yeah, that, that should have been named better. That should have been named Double Health Drops. Yeah, that's uh. misleading. So, yeah, let's see. Time power... Do I have anything that maybe could spice up the combat? Let's see. We've got the Stone Armor and we've got the Trail of Fire. Then there's Whirlwind. Increase the range and damage of the Whirlwind attack. Uh, create a gust of wind that knocks your enemies back. This power will use the energy... And then Ice Blast. But, yeah, the, the, Wait. that sort of stuff does not feel like Prince of Persia. Is there a way to reset all of this? Uh, actually, two things. Lower difficulty, yes, fuck you. That way they don't take as many hits. And is there a way to reset this? Maybe they're like in the middle? No. Okay, that's also always a bad... If you're putting in an upgrade system like that, just a bit, uh, the ability to reset is also just a smart thing. Like, with some games, it makes sense, like our long-term RPGs, since there you generally have to plan things out. But in a, yeah, in, in a game like this, no... Uh, yep. it, yeah, at, at best, I'd call this game mediocre. Yeah, the, oh gosh, I think I started to realize what happened. Beside a Russian for the move. They were making, like, the console and PC version, like PlayStation, Xbox, and this one. I'm not sure if I'm forgetting a console here. They're the same game. But Nintendo Wii and the other handheld consoles were all different from each other. Yeah. Okay, finally they're deciding to spice these up a bit by having us go through when it's <clears throat> non-solid and then solidified immediately after. Oop. Okay, that thing again. Does he think I'm King Solomon? 
Okay. Okay, solidify, jump, yeah, I, even a chase just doesn't make me feel any more interested in the game now. I, like, yep. the music has ramped up a little bit, but I would not call this exciting in the absolute slightest. Now, go over music? there. Yeah, it, it's... You can hardly even hear it! Yeah! I was gonna say, what music? Uh... He can't see me. He won't follow me. I hope. And there's, there's, then there's also the fact that this game makes no sense in the freaking timeline as well. It was Unless yeah. this takes place immediately after Sands of Time, which makes no sense since he, well, ran away from the... The, uh, the camp where he was with his father and such in the army. Um, <laughs> yeah, he was. He's supposed to be getting chased by the Haka now. Yeah, I feel like they. Yeah, they did drop the ball on this one. Okay, out, out of power, so that's why I can't use any of the attacks. Uh. Yeah, I, again on the combats. Even if it was just basically button mashing with only two different buttons, it was still double the amount of buttons that we have with this now. We do have those little powers. I would not be surprised if they want you to use them more, but I'm not Probably. sure how easy, easily we refuel those to begin with. Yeah, enemies are supposed to drop stuff as well. It's, let's just have a check at the power menu after this. It's still a good away from the next. That's in flow. Uh, freeze water time. Time power. Uh, it's power attack, upgrade, heavy kick, flight, boost. Okay. Um, battle rates, increase the damage cost. Ba maximize swords. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. The Even these upgrades don't feel that interesting so far. We've only got yeah. just gotten that one, but. I think the most energy we get back is from the breaking vases and such. Like, we got one or two points in that fight there. But... Mm. Yeah, as it is, what they should have done is maybe... Like, they have a djinn. A djinn. That's underused. Because I feel like it's a bit of a crime. Yeah, like, why the hell are we doing all of this instead of her? Uh, for, I feel like they should borrow what they've done from the other games and have the gym join us and have her aid us with the magic in combat. Yeah, sort of like uh, Elika. Yeah, like Elika, Farah, no, mine is the love interest in this case. It's more uh, like yeah, a magic body. This is probably also, but also feels weird with this one for. He's basically alone. Yeah, he was alone in War Within as well, but at least there the combat was more interesting. Also, why the hell did you go for that instead of this guy? True. Uh. But so far, I think like the, the first game and the third game. Are the one I like the most. Yeah. I, I like the second game too. But not as much as the other ones. 
and I've re really blended the best qualities of the first two really well. Yeah. Worry with ins, uh, worry within had very interesting concepts with the Dahaka and such. It, it just didn't use them well enough. Uh. Okay. Hmm. Let's. Uh, I guess this marker. May... Oh, yeah, it, it does feel like that. It feels like this game is just a quick cash grab because of the movie. Uh... Yeah, we probably can explain the other. The, the hand, all the all the handhelds had quite different systems, so they. Yeah, we they spitball so many ideas. They thought, you know, what? We take all of them, and see which we consider they work best on. Yeah, and then Risk because none of them ha because none of them had g enough time or enough developers to actually well be worked out, none of them worked out. Yeah, do I think you heard Matt say there was I forgot which one was the best of the con uh, handheld consoles that were closest to Prince of Persia feel, but it was one one that got close. I quote again, close. And even that one probably didn't hit the mark, but probably better than this one. Hopefully. Yeah, there are no, I don't have any plans or interest to go you know, to try and look for other Prince of Persia uh, games for streaming at the moment. <laughs> Going. Malik. It's after his medallion. The throne room's in that direction. I have to get to Malik first. Okay, I'm guessing it gave up on attacking Lemonface here. <laughs> he was just being too fucking dodgy. So Malik would make a much easier target. Uh, I think he's realized something here. That's mm -hmm. kind of would explain a bit of our issues with this Prince of Persian Prince. Oh. They use different model for the cutscene. I think it's probably a part of it as well. Like his face still looks a bit off. That movement, please. But not as much. But here, it looks worse when you are fighting. When he actually became, as you say, lemon faced. Now, typically, that wouldn't. Typically, that wouldn't matter much in these kinds of games since, well, you're typically looking at the back of your character most of them anyways. Uh, but we can actually just turn around and look at them as well, so that... Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely putting this game at the absolute bottom of the tier list, so to say. Uh, let's see. Marco, I hate that the VA sounds British. It, it's actually the same. This is actually the same original act, voice actor. And sound British? Uh, I, th I think you were thinking of a different kind of British than we typically would think of. I think and... less British is more princely, if one could say that. And let's see. And again, Marco. Uh, Captain, there is a message before the thing I said about the game. I hope it'll make you feel a little better. Yeah, I saw that one, though. I don't think I need to read that out. And yeah, that's not something to laugh about, really. Okay, what have we here? The astrolabe. Malik wrote to me about it. It's supposed to predict the future through the movement of the stars. Wait, what? Some... Hmm. Doubt it predicted the army. Yeah, astrology was a big thing in uh, the Middle East. <clears throat> yeah, they they did, they were really, really advanced at Mensen even. They were to the Crusaders. They thought it was witchcraft, but it was actually they were actually trying to improve medicine. 
And we're rather uh, successful. Course. Because anything the church doesn't understand or didn't originate from the church is, must be heresy in some way. Yeah, and the, one of the tools which was probably a slight failure, but it did try to perfect it without death, and it did look like a torture device. It's a helmet with a lot of needles you poked into the head. And I thought you were, they were meant to impale the head, but that was not the point. I made a pun, sorry. No problem, it's not... Uh, okay, what is... Okay... There we go, now it's a platform we can use. And let's just both agree that this game just isn't really that interesting. Where it, the, yeah. Again, with like with Bori Within, the concepts are... But the execution just falls flat on its face. And why is the camera stuck like this now? Uh, I don't no, think there's I think, anything I can jump to. I think you can say it is like it, it is similar to War Within it that way, except they feel harder. Hmm. Or rather, they fell through the wall, a wall, then to the floor. They fell through the floor. Can we, okay, we can reach that. It's a bit hard to see. Uh, but where do we jump to from here? There is... Uh, over there. Okay, let's do this before our time runs out. Okay, but... I do get what they were trying to do with this game. Uh, to basically just take the original... Uh, not even that, they... they they tried to change up the game's formula, but they changed it up so much. Also with the controls that I just keep fucking up with that. They changed it so much that it doesn't feel like Prince of Persia anymore. Yeah. Like the only thing that's really here still is the wall running and such and the, the traps. Yeah. Oh, bloody heck. Ugh. Let's see, context. Mm -hmm. oh dear. I, I, here's to hoping that the next game is better than this, but they have learned the lesson. Yeah. Okay. Ugh. But, yeah, I, I, I spoke to Hillian the other day, uh, actually yesterday, that, uh, that, it, that I, I'm okay with us dropping this if this game continues us to bore us. Yeah, and then we'll just move on to the next game in line I have, I have ready, which is, well, it's Doom. So that's definitely not going to be boring. Yeah. Uh, yeah, as I told you yesterday, Hilian. Like, I'm fine with us finishing games that are maybe not the best and all that, but what's the point to finish a game that utterly bore us? Yeah. Like, you measure for the viewers. Like, is is it really fun to watch someone play that? Is obviously bored of an or two or a mix of annoyed and bored of the game. Yeah, like bad games are just typically the the way that bad games are enjoyed these days is by viewers getting entertainment out of the frustration of the people playing. Or the player can boredom. make a little joke. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, the 2016 uh, Doom, Marco. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. I was going to say, what were you to say there? It says Alex is sort of talking over you. Yes. Uh, yeah, most of the time that bad games these days are enjoyed is by people yeah, just watching the... Just watching the Watching the entertainer, I'll just say, get frustrated and annoyed with the game. Uh, 
Okay, now it's active again. Yeah. Personally, like, sometimes I can find it funny when I... <laughs> okay. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, uh, finally the game gives a little bit of a laugh. It, and only by breaking. All <laughs> uh, right. I was to say is, I can sometimes find a bit amused to see YouTubers and us get a bit annoyed, but there is a point where it gets annoying for my, me as well, or I just start to feel sad for them. Yeah, like Tear of Grace is one of those uh, frustration let's players. But yeah, he frequently just has funny moments as well, just he, that he comes across. Yeah. But. <sighs> yeah, but uh, I guess I said. But what's the point? The, the viewer will probably also get bored if the. Uh, the, the entertainer is also bored and annoyed at the same time. Yeah. Like, no one's have fun then. Okay. And you're right. Uh, actually, no. I, I'll be saving the ice cream for you tomorrow. Okay. Or, you know what? I have two, so I'll be grab one. Okay, how are we going to move with this thing now? Ooh. Okay, that means move away from here. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, we, we can stop this thing by freezing the water. Can you freeze my drink? It's no. The ice is already, almost gone. There. Okay, and that brings us... To you. This this is a pretty good set piece. It's just that, yeah, the game it's in is mediocre to say the best so far. <sighs> That's the throne room. The leak must be nearby. Yeah. And it's hmm. okay. I I need to huh? change up the stream elements thing a bit because it seems to have it seems to have uh, silenced Marco again for some reason. Uh, just give me a moment. I think I had that over here somewhere. Oh dear. Uh, let's, uh, let's uh, right, I was to say is there's me mediocre okayish with a few golden nuggets, but then you had a game that can be painfully mediocre. Yeah. If that makes sense. Uh, let's see. Chatbots, uh, spam filters, why is it keeping let's see, paragraph protection, uh, timers, no. Okay, why is it? Hmm. Uh, I'll, I'll just set this off for now. The only thing I'll set up is the caps protection then. And da, 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 excessive emotes. There we go. I might need to actually. This, these are probably editable for how much they uh, set people on um, how much they would go for setting things off. But okay. Um, let's see. Okay. Hopefully, hopefully they'll stop muting you, <laughs> at Marco. Let's see. Though, yeah, by my judgment, you are not spamming at all, so I don't know why Stream Elements thinks you are. I might have a guess. Do I hope it's not it? No. He's the only one talking. Yeah, it In could be that, that yeah. Is. And if that's the case, then that means that the code program is getting tricked by its own coding. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Also, I'm starting to get a bit of a feeling. Like, we both thought... Uh, we only have this water power so far. Ooh. I was honestly expecting to get fire 
you know, other, other elemental powers besides water. So if water is the only thing that we're going to get, that's going to be pretty disappointing. Hello there. Okay. Um, for a moment, I thought we were to see a reskin of the warrior from the last game. Okay, wait. Didn't we fight this thing already? And yeah, we just have to power attack it back. It's just. Not interesting. Uh, and mm, let's see, can we at least well, pull off some of our acrobatic attacks still? Uh, uh, get up! You're not. Why? Uh, what happened? He. He was lying on the ground, not reacting to movement, and just lying there until he got hit again. So... Okay. I, uh, I thought the controller died. I'm not even using the controller. I'm using keyboard and mouse. Oh, yeah, that, that's uh, even... With Ow. <sighs> you just... Okay, upgrade available. Let's get this trail of flame. And maybe just get over here to these attack buffs. And yeah, power. Uh, apply chains and exits. Yeah, because, because that double drops thing was mislabeled, we've wasted a bunch of uh, wasted a bunch of power points getting towards it. Yeah, mm. I'm mean, not be surprised if that is just gonna make end up, yeah, making things more dull <laughs> and dragged out. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Marker's dealing with lag. Gonna restart Twitch to see if it helps. It not did not help with the. Okay. Yeah, sometimes it's just Twitch. Yeah. Uh, wrong way. Uh, how did? Somehow. <laughs> Did not get sliced up there. Ooh! Cold! Uh. Uh, for context, I drink from my pint again, and apparently there's a lot of cold condensation in the glass. <laughs> so when I drank, it started dripping cold water on my belly. <laughs> okay. So yes, I, I caught, got a bit caught off guard. Very nearby. Also, it's one change that I absolutely do not like is that we get our health from just breaking stuff. Like, we've always been breaking stuff throughout the games, but we could at least heal from standard points and get, well, saves as well then. Now we only yep. have checkpoints. Yeah, you know, we, we only have drinking wells. Okay. There. There. Okay. Uh, let's see, Marco. It might have to update or something like that. I'll check if I. Uh, if not, I will be will become the lad. <clears throat> Again, why did this game change? Climb up uh, to jump away. Yeah, uh, but th 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 that's a a decision. I can say right away. For the. Okay. the don't mess with the controls unless it was complained about to begin with. But with the controls themselves, we're already fine. 
Yeah, Don't mess with not broken. Yeah, basically the feeling that I get from all of these changes is that none of the original people are worked on this. Or if they did, they were overruled by people who did not abs absolutely did not know how the, these games were supposed to be. Yeah. I have to say, that I find Rose Horus movie that should have been epic to see, but. Yeah, the that rest of the game has been such a disappointment that we don't. We are not invested at all in this. Yeah, I can say this. That, that fight between them two. Felt a bit average. Oh, no, no, the, if I like what you expect from the. Mid boss or something, or some enemy boss, not from him. They're supposed to sound like to be the final boss. Yeah, which also just adds in that no investment in this because we know he's just going to run off. <laughs> Wait, was that the quick strikes? from Two Thrones returning for a bit. So I was basically just button mashing there. But that wasn't even anywhere near. It would have gone straight over. Uh. Oh. From one of the ways, was that aimed to make the entire wall collapse on him, but no. Uh, you know what also would have been nice with this? Just, like, any fucking idea what he's actually saying. Yeah. Oh, bloody heck. I think... And like, uh, uh, what? Yeah, I was just going to read out Marco's uh, comment. Apparently his... <laughs> His brother was eating up all the Wi-Fi broadcast broadband by playing Genshin. Oh, that may explain it. But yeah, I was saying they, they have many cool mob models and all that, but they they feel a, a bit wasted. Yeah, they they it, changed but... the core too much. Ow. You know you could have jumped back to that right away, right? Okay, someone's going to file a claim for bad leadership or a hostile work environment because he just blasted his own minion in the back. Yeah. He feels way too slow. Yeah, everything feels too slow in this game. Yeah, look. Sk the skeletons and the undead I get, but he's not an undead. He, what even he's happened a there? Burning version of a genie. Yeah, he's an Ifrit. He, he, exactly. He's supposed to be fire. He's supposed to be fast. Yeah, they just they just try to change everything up too much, which. Well, made nothing the same, which <laughs> means that this game has nothing for the fans. Or next to nothing. Hey. Are we actually going to kill him right here? Already? Oh wait, is oh. oh and the seal breaks. Okay, we didn't kill him, we just gave him a new vessel to possess. On the guy who I I, I will say this. I like the broader somebody 
it's a world where Brother looks better animated and more, more like he fits in Prince of Persia. Yeah. More than the prince. And, and that's this game bad. was just a this game was just a collection of bad ideas on top of bad ideas. Let's see. Yeah, like along with is from undercooked him. ideas. Yeah. Uh, I'm yeah I'm I'm honestly somewhat regretting to have picked this game up. And also something stupid that the time rewind. Uh, Really? You're going to put us here? The, the time rewind and the other powers drawing from the same amount of uh, spaces? Just also a bad idea. Because if you if you get through a fight and have have spent all of your energy, then you go and you mess up on one of the up following parkour bits, yeah, you're going to be put right back at the start. So just uh. Yeah, uh, actually, which one of the other two games was it that someone recommended you to try? This one. Wasn't that you, Marco, or was that someone else? I think it was someone else who said they. Uh, did, was so, did someone say, say they liked this one? Hmm. <clears throat> Uh, it's the it's the main character's uh, it's the main character's brother, Marco. Uh, it could have been Ultra Goldsmith or Warlord. Maybe it has been a while. I guess it is. I can see someone like this if this was the only and the first Prince of Persia game they played. Yeah. Now let's see. You're going to actually make yourself gone. useful. And something's happened to Malik. He killed that Ifrit. Your brother did not kill Ratash. Ratash has killed your brother. What? No, that's not what happened. It is not what you saw, but it is what happened. A djinn will not be killed by any ordinary sword. This is why I warned you not to fight Ratash. His power has simply found another body. Your brother. Before long, Ratash will control him. No, that cannot be true. It is the truth. You don't know Malik. He's stronger than you realize. He will fight that thing, and he will win. Even if that is true, your brother must still die. What? Why? If you're going to say this is some kind of punishment... Of course not. Think. Your brother's half of the seal is destroyed. How will you stop the army now? I'll make another seal. Tell me how. Those spells have been lost. The sorcerers who made it are long dead. There is only one way to stop what you have unleashed. You must go to Rekel, the city of the Jinn. There you will find a sword. With it, you will kill Ratash. When his power is broken, the army's power will be broken as well. Kill Ratash? You mean kill Malik? I won't do that. Do you care for this land? Malik's people, your people, your own life? If you do not stop the army, it will all be gone. I am not heartless. I understand that it will be difficult. But it must be done. There has to be another way. You must take charge in your brother's place. You must save those who can still be saved. This is what it is to be a leader. <laughs> The entrance to Rickham is near King Solomon's tomb. Look for the flame that marks the tower. You will find the stairs to the city underneath. And just compare the faces of these two. Like his face looks completely out of proportion. And out of place. Uh. Again, this probably for the try to make him way more look like the actor but in they went a bit too much is that so he ended up looking uh, he, even out of then place. It, it, yeah that and his face looks too small again okay oh, yeah jump and press oh okay well played is it, is it, 
I don't hate the gym woman. He has, she does the good acting and all that. Just feels underused. Yeah. Yep. Really? Uh, actually, just fuck this. Okay. Well, at least you have one good news. Find a new sword. Yeah, we are going to get a new sword. Hmm. And so now we have a sort of lightning ability where we can just zap to another enemy. And let's see, Marco, I didn't even know this game, this one existed. <laughs> Whip Lemon Face's brother, he will wait. Yeah, uh, you will. Wait, who were you? Uh, okay. hmm. That is at least somewhat new, I guess. Like, there are some things in this game that I do like, like these timers. And yeah, the, the powers do feel somewhat... Uh, interesting with the water or at least like it has potential to be a lot more interesting just yeah they just said oh let me do this and didn't think of what else to do with it uh, so yeah let's keep on for now but i am still weighing the possibility of just dropping this game because it does not interest me at all really yeah we would make we, we have abandoned games before on rare occasion but usually due to technical difficulties i think this would be the second or maybe third game yeah but this this one would be first will be abandoned due to boredom Come on. There. Up. Yeah, it, it's called Prince of Persia, but it does not feel Prince of Persia. Up. Maybe it would have if they had at least one or two more years to work on it. Or just... Like, I can see what uh, they tried to put in some things that... Uh, were popular at the time, but I think by trying to shove that in at the cost of other uh, things, like the uh, the RPG elements with this, as small as they are, it, it just feels like they neglected the core. Of and Aspie is short for uh, Asperger's Syndrome, Mark Narco, a form of autism. Okay. I thought it was a restaurant. I think you're thinking of Arby's there. All right, it might be it. I think I heard that there is a food chain called Aspie. Oh, this one's in a long timer. Okay. This is this is pretty interesting. I'll fully admit that. Uh, ah, jump away. I'm suddenly now worried for one thing. No. Like usually when we get a new sword, it, it, it is exciting, awesome, but they. Uh, so far, the other games never failed when we got a new sword. They always. Yeah. Feel good to get. So this was just a, not just a new sword, but just more powerful. Yeah, we the fighting would get somewhat easier as well. Yeah. But we'd often face tougher enemies to balance things out a bit. So yes. Bit of a tug of war. But yeah. now we're going to see why I'm worried. Yep. Yeah. Okay, two of these things in close quarters. Well, yeah. I, I'm worried if they... 
I hope they don't mess this up. Well, I will be pleased if they somehow made a new, the new sword feel like nothing changed. Yeah, I do expect it to ju do extra damage as well. And if it does not, then yeah, like it, she specifically says that it's a magic sword, so you would expect that it would do more damage against mystical beasts like this as well, or mystical creations like this. Yeah, and hopefully even amplify spells to do more AOE or something. Something to make it this e is faster to deal with. Yeah. Like, I've lowered it down to easy now, and it's still... Fe actually... Hmm... They aren't really bullet sponges as much, or bullet sponge doesn't really count in a sword fighting game, but uh, they do die easier, so that is nice. Uh, let's see. Now let's make them die even quicker by upgrading our swords. There. Okay, and we can just completely ignore those. That lightning thing? That one should be awesome, but what does it do? Only kill one. Yeah, it's or maybe mostly two. used for traversal. Yeah, but I feel like if you attack them, maybe you should attack a few of them down, not just one and two. Uh, let's see. There. Uh, just... Let's see, uh, just up, up, and there, hmm, up nope, that way, this way, yep, you know, or I just jump straight from it instead, <laughs> being overly dumb, okay, I think most of the frustration that I was feeling has passed, uh, it's, oops. Quick. I, 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 I said most. Come on. There. There. And there. Okay. It does let us get more... It does let us cover more, oh, more distance, but it feels not very interesting to just leap to an enemy. Yeah, it looks rather tame for a lightning spell. Uh, and yeah, I, I think unless there's just a closed door in front of us, we're just going to ignore each and every enemy that appears. Like, sure, they give us XP, but... I'd say it's not worth it. Yeah, for me, I feel they need to kill so many of them to get any of it. Like, Fair. If, like if let me do it. Double XP from killing these mobs. Maybe they will be balanced. We have three experience now, and that is literally just one experience from one of these single guys. Now, what if we kill one of these? I said, what if we kill one of these? Six. Uh, okay, these give five. And apparently the number goes up even before the particles actually hit us. It's... Hmm. Okay, still, I'm just going to avoid them. Uh... Okay. Oh dear, yes. this, the, that light would lightning tackle I, I feel like it should have been cool, but it's not. How? How do they mess that up? Okay. Uh, let's see. Marco, uh, Prince of Persia. Now this is King of Malaysia. 
And that stupid girl, you guys remember the girl that took me cutting paper with a scalpel or scalper? But I think you're getting a word wrong there. As a threat. Uh, I'm not yeah, sure I if I remember that. that or not. I remember that. Uh, I remember him telling me about it. Okay. What has he done now? Let's see. Jump over as it comes. And there. Oop. Oh, hello. Okay. A new enemy, and all they do is just throw explosives at us. Not interesting. Uh. It could done the wall. It's that, that that little thing is it. You expect someone with those hands to throw something bigger? Hmm. Okay. There. Uh. But, yeah. What did she do this time, Marco? And does that mean that you're watching us at school or something? It's 9 p.m. here, so. Did she... Okay, she probably complained about you or something then. Like, what did she do? Uh, uh, let's see. Well, she asked if, was if I was going to the graduation party. And I said, I don't know. And she said, good, it will be better if you don't go. Right. Yeah, just... Bitch. Is she one of those high school princesses? I have to find Malik. I have to warn him about Ratash. Okay. Are these things only going to be popping up now as roadblocks for us to bash through? Hmm. These uh, gardens are one of the wonders of Persia. A wilderness in the midst of a desert kingdom. They're even more beautiful than I remember. Ooh. A sandstorm. Oh, that's probably just a coincidence. Uh, either way, that's bad news. Oh, yeah, Sans. If the more sand they touch, the more of them are off. Yeah. But they, they have a concept for a terrifying enemy. And it feels like they... Mm. Yeah, like so many things, it feels wasted. Wasted... I can stop the term undercooked. Yeah, the Honka was undercooked. This is just wasted. Yeah. It, it, it needs more spices. More ingredients. Did that appear? Okay, Malik is somewhat in control still. I've seen that attack before. I hope he can hold out against that. Thing. But yeah, as I was going to say, Marco, sounds like a good reason to go just to spite. Hmm. That or things may get worse if they do that. I, I don't know the person he's talking about personally, so. 50 50. Yeah, yeah, they do sound unpleasant, though. 
They sound like it's something for a bloody high school movie. Let's see, the dead guy unlocked the pocket throw ability. Yeah, he's, I think he did a. I'm gonna be surprised to say this, an improved version of a Sam Throw. Yeah. Okay, come on, if you're not even going to be interesting with where we get to use this. Uh. Yep. Okay, that was my fault. I, uh, I think I start to see what is missing with this uh, ability, the, like the lightning on and the sand blast we saw earlier. It, they're missing the oomph. Yeah. If that makes sense. Like, this one isn't supposed to feel like it has any quote-unquote oomph, uh, since it's just for mobility, but... Yeah, the... Okay, that that is a new bit. Rather late to bring that in. Uh, there, there is a... What's even more stupid is there is the sound of a thunderclap, but it's so soft that you almost don't hear it. Yeah, it, it's... And you expect to, like, it is nice to see one enemy, but you only get one or two with a thing. It, it, since it's a damn fun, you expect to, when you tackle a group, you actually bring down five or six with them. Or with it. Uh, but no. And they're just overusing it now. Swing. Swing. There. There is Malik. Yeah, it, it, I have to... A lot of this feels like amateur work, almost. Like, indie devs would do better than this. Yeah, well... Oh no, I hope this wasn't a case of they hired a lot of new people who never designed a game before or they had a minimum experience. Uh. Like, in the world, developers, at least they try to go for something they feel like they can handle. Yeah. Usually, there are exceptions. And very quickly, like, look at Valheim. The person had that game on Itchio for four years. It was meant for a P to be a PvP arena match game, like a, a mini Fortnite, but he moved away from that. Yeah, Especially as he game. learned more and more how to program. Yeah, now he's working on it with a team of like a dozen or so. Uh, about 12 or 10, I think. That's about a dozen. <laughs> yeah, but they... But during that time, they know what they can and can't do, and they try to... Like, even now, they are focused. They stay focused on doing the next big update, but they're also doing the middle with things between and a lot of quality of life updates. And if you're asking why I was just jumping around there, I was trying to use the lightning power in combat, which you apparently can't. Uh... Waste. There we go. Uh, let's see, Marco, I'm gonna uh, sleep on if I should go to spite her or be the better person. See ya. Okay. Good night, Marco. Uh, uh, sleep well, Marco. Uh, this, they're not using this in, in any interesting way. They're just putting one of these at the end of every line here that you are required to use the power to you zap them. It's not interesting. Yep. Yeah, oh my head. He hit. I, I say this. I, I will not be surprised if we end up doing Doom on first day. Yeah. Ugh. Like, most of this is still competently made, but it just doesn't feel like Prince of Persia. 
Yeah, and and a lot of things to feel as you should have the. <laughs> that sounded like you sneezed. Just... Bless you. Uh, but yeah, but. Uh... In, in many things that should have been cool here, is either missing the spark of Prince of Persia or the missing the energy that needs to make the uh, new skill as such feel awesome, but... <laughs> also, this is your final corner bit here. Increase the damage of the aerial slash attack. Uh, that... Most of this feels competently made, but like it's been assembled by amateurs. Yeah, or they were heavily indecisive. Like, okay, we just do this, but we should not make it too much. But then it might, it might be a lot of indecisiveness. They were unsure. Should we? Oh, it's a good deal, but let's not make it too powerful or something like that. And then ended up nerfing it too much instead. Which I would not be surprised if that's the, key, uh, the thing. They had a cool idea, but they nerfed it down so much it became uninteresting. I'm just going to deal with the mobs by just doing this. Oh, how did I miss you? Weren't there? Didn't I already kill three of you? There. And there. Now, the only reason I did this is because I don't really know... Okay, there we need to go. So, again, that could have just been completely skipped, really. Uh. So, not, not only is that ability underused, it seems to be that it gets finicky as well now. Uh, we'll see how things go with my leak. If that will g at least give us something interesting. And if not, we might just drop the game. Yeah, but uh, this guy's fat and weird. Again, the two other ones we had to abandon were due to technical issues. This one, which would be fun, would be the first one out of boredom. And that's something. Like, if yeah. it's due to technical issues, then that's not, that's basically beyond our, like, nothing much we can do about it if they, we are blocked by technical the issues, like a game breaking bug and such. Yeah. And we are all forced to do it. Here. Did yeah. Smack? Like... I did not smack my lip. No, it sounded like it. I think I accidentally had some saliva that I went in or something. <sighs> but, yeah. Boredom. Yeah, that, I don't know how to say uh, about you end up having to abandon a game out of boredom. Yeah. Also something like in each of these games we've poked fun at all the architecture stuff and such. But this, but this one is getting absolutely absurd with all of these water spouts all over the place. Like. Even here, it makes some sort of sense, since this is the freaking gardens and all that. And why are they all over the, every everywhere else in the palace? Yeah, like, the other games, some of them made sense, I mean, they, they look gorgeous. Like, this place does look gorgeous. Like, it does, unlike the other... The other ones we did, a question, okay, why are the traps here? But it was just the traps. Yeah. Here we have... Malik. Everything going insane.
And I'm pretty sure he's now fully possessed. I have to help him. Why would those? Yep, sandbirds. Oh no. How are they? Uh, please don't tell me they're gonna mess those up too. Somehow. Okay, nice little detail. This sort of stuff shows that at least competent people still worked on this, but there's just so much that's just wrong. Yep. Uh. What the heck is that? Every time we see his face in these minor cutscenes, it looks like he's just eating a lemon. Okay, so they're not actual enemies, they're obstacles. Like, it is a change-up from the fireball guys. But still... Yes, what the heck? Yeah. That... That's a weird emotion. Okay, boss fight against Malik now. He just grow. Uh, yeah, I think he's bigger now. Yeah, the more power he absorbs, the more... Yep, there we go. Now he's fully possessed, I think. What the heck? Slanesh? No. Malik, Ro you must fight it. Don't let it control you. And there oh, goes the, the most like <laughs> the most interesting part about this game. And really, you're. Uh, yeah, I was going to say the exit? there, but uh, I don't know why I said slash. But still, that was kind of like, some part of that design looked cool, but others less so. Like the head area, I feel like they missed out. Not s Wait, are we supposed to go this way? Uh, we can't reach that. But yeah, I am disappointed what they did with the birds. Like, they're not enemies, they're just a way to traverse by killing them. That's That actually makes no sense for them to just stand there allow, and allow themselves to be used as method of uh, transport. Yeah. Might like as well have just hung up purple freaking lums from Rayman 2. Yeah. I should probably update the, game, the list of games that we have streamed already. And seriously. They're just standing still most of the time. They're just... Uh, these are literally here just to take up time. And I can see... Uh, time and uh, it's a way to gather the XP for the skills, but... I yeah, do, I mean, I'm not interested in all in fighting these things. Yeah. 
Like, in a way, you need to fight them to upgrade the skills. The problem is... If you made the battlefield too boring, then it's hard to get motivated to upgrade the skills. Miss Anderson, if you search for you may need the damn skills to finish the game. Uh, th this power attack just does not feel like it fits at all either. Like, what has the, the what has the combat been throughout all of the previous games? Acrobatic. This is just standing still and charging up a slash. Just standing still, completely the opposite of what the series has always been about. Uh. Yeah. Oh yeah, they removed cavalry and block. And that was just fully a... And... Uh. and I, I just feel like who, whatever team they put on this did not understand Prince of Persia at all. Besides, a, at most, uh, a summary sort of uh, understanding. Uh. Yeah, it too much wasted potential. So there's no need to go for that at all. Uh, amount of time we can undo. Let's get the last of these powers, so at least we can see if that makes things any interesting. Or at least makes it quicker to deal with them. That way. Uh, but yeah, still have but about half an hour. That in other games, few enemies, but he was pairing, counterattacking, attacking, and all that. He, he he's just attack, attack, attack. This what? So That's this is it. It's this is the ice blast, apparently. They call that an ice blast. Wait, wait, also, why like is that? Ice... Oh. Sorry, what? what? Why is that power on number one when it is the fourth power in the la yeah, in the power menu? Yeah, okay, that's weird. Uh, but also, I would not call that an ice blast. I would call it an ice path or something like that. If you want an ice blast, you shoot a big ball of ice and explode or something. Yeah. It's not... Like, if you... When you give a name ice blast, that's not what you expect to see. Like... You know what? I would not be surprised for this. We have seen this now several times in this game. There are many names with the, that have good names, but when you do get them, they are far from what you expect. Yeah. You're basically being led to. This light probably lead, What? I think you mean lied to? Oh, yeah, lied to. This probably as to why people do, don't like this game. Yeah, they, they changed it up so much that it's not Prince of Persia. Is it like Marco's joke? This is King of Malaysia. Some of the oh. palace guards are still alive. Not for long. Wait. Uh, Please tell me this is the final boss. Not likely, since we don't have that Ifrit killing swords. Oh, true. So even if we do kill him, we're just going to become possessed ourselves. How does the... Okay, out of the way like that. 
Like, my leak was still rather interesting with all of the banter and such, but it gets killed by everything around it being mediocre. Yeah, now we have a... Now the I'm subtitles gonna... are just gone. Yeah, I'm not surprised. They always had problems with subtitles in this game. And also, his design now is kind of... What would be a fitting word here? A bit underwhelming? Hmm, I don't mind it as much. Like, it's a fusion between Rakesh, or whatever his name was, and Malik. Like, if we'd been able to understand some of the stuff he says, it might have been more interesting at least. Because for all we know, he's just asking us where the fucking bathroom is. Like, he probably is threatening us, but for all we know, he could be babbling like a freaking demented grandfather. Uh, here we go. You only now figure that out. I don't know what I... I'm so disappointed with it. Like, I'm okay with them, you able to use the boost like this. Probably is when you demote the boost to be only used like this. That's bad. Okay, we just headbutting him <laughs> in the balls. Uh, yeah, this. What? It he the the balls are not on a person's knee. No, with, with, the, to... with the zap attack. Oh, uh, we don't have anywhere to hide now. We don't get to hide anywhere, anyways. Well, you know. Wait. Is that? Uh, might want to look behind you. This must be the entrance to the Jin City. You didn't even see if, like, very obviously King Solomon's tomb, but he never even fucking looked at it. So how did he even know that that is where he was? Uh, just everything about this game feels so underwhelming, undercooked, wasted. Yeah, uh, I, think, I think all those terms are the words one would use for this. But they're all, all correct. So, yeah, I... Unless the game really manages to surprise us out of the blue, we're, we're going to leave it for Doom. That almost sounds like you've reached that. Go. You've reached that, Prince, and you know it. Ugh. Hey, he's Goldsmiths. Yep. Uh, not sure if I would call this game fan service because as a fan, I don't feel serviced at all. Uh, wait. In what way will this be his fan service? Uh, this is one of the few parts where we actually have to deal with the traps. 
Oh, yeah. right, that's the original term. I, I also used to fan service be, means something else. Yeah, how are you doing, Goldsmith? Better than us, I hope, because, yeah, I've had to deal with technical difficulty before and then just this game being underwhelming as all hell compared to the previous games. Uh. Yeah, and here I was worried that the game we played last time, this also had a bit of that, this but this system? one just takes the cake. Yeah. Uh, actually, no. No, I have a better, better, better for order. It doesn't take the cake, it spoils the cake. Uh, I, I mean, say it once this is over. What the heck? Uh, they're throwing us literal swarms now. Do these even give experience? Okay, yes, a little they bit. Do. Two each or something? Not uh, sure. Right. I want to say is what we saw of the other game, uh, Persia 08. Like they had good super potential, but it they just crashed and burned in the end. Yep. This came GameCube also where they said, "Hold my beer." Yeah. Um. If I recall correctly, it was either you or Warlord who requested we try this game, Goldsmith. And um, yeah, I. Yeah, I can say, I. I don't care for this game much, if at all, really, with everything. Could this be, in part, be just that I've been in a bad mood today, but compared to the other games, everything just feels undercooked. And I see how we are to solve this already. Um, actually, hmm. Let's keep turning. Okay, now they line up. Okay. Uh, ta -ta -ta. I believe I told you guys that the trilogy was finished with just the trilogy. And yeah, I... I this, this game feels completely out of place. Because in the storyline, he's... The prince is supposed to be getting chased by the Dahaka at this point. Like... Unless this takes place... Somehow takes place, like, immediately after sands of time uh yeah he, w he would be getting chased and yeah even then that wouldn't really make sense since yeah he ran away from <laughs> from the the camp with his father and everything yeah but uh, it, it is a is a prequel sequel that doesn't fit like in other games, you could be able to do a prequel sequel as an adventure between without a big, really big problems, and it could be beneficial for deeper character development. But here, we may have an example how you do it wrong. Yeah, I, I, I know it's supposed to be between Sands of Time and Oh, hello. Only now you're starting to question that. But uh, yeah, uh, da, da, da. because there's a time time, time skip after Sands of Time. Yeah, and they took advantage of that. Still, this it still feels off. It's between it's between uh, the end of oh, between the end of Sands of Time. Uh, uh, okay, couldn't even rewind. Uh, <clears throat> really? Uh, again, not liking this checkpoint system. Let's see. If I recall correctly, the, between Sands of Time and Two Thrones, it is supposed to be seven years. Seven years during which he was chased by the Dahaka. So, first question is, where is the Dahaka? And second question is, how long si has how long has it been exactly since Sands of Time for this? 
Yeah, He's... and didn't he drone away? Yeah. It also just feels off. Not just in the timeline, but with the, the mechanics and gameplay as well. Like, uh, no, it can't be because he didn't run away right uh, away. This might be the where he ran away afterwards. But still, me about that. If I were a thousand years old, I'd forget things too. Like giant collapsing staircases that could kill people. Okay, just Yuri's banter is still a highlight, but it's just one of few in this game. Yeah, but yeah, I feel like the, the Hakka should have been here. Unless. Oh, wait, that's what he said. Wait. Oh, now we are in the, If he killed the Dahavka with oh. altered the timeline? Wait, wait. Oh no. Like, like this I could be like an the, alternate timeline, maybe? Let's... I think they're doing the rule. doing mistakes with the timeline how, and all that. that they, they accidentally. they just made it. Unnecessarily complicated and messy. And yeah, it, it wouldn't make sense to put uh, to try and put a game between Warrior Within and Two Thrones since the one leads directly into the other. But uh, it still feels like this game does not fit. Like in general, feel gameplay and just with the timeline as well. were dangerous. What happened? They collapsed under my feet. I am sorry. The city has been abandoned for many centuries. I have been here so long I did not think of it. Is there anything else you haven't thought of? Like perhaps a way for me to save my brother? You tried to stop him, didn't you? Despite what I said. Of course I did. Then you know I told you the truth. Your brother is gone. I know he is not himself. That he cannot be saved? How can I trust what you say? I know nothing about you. I know very little about you either, son of Sharaman, brother of Malik. And yet I must trust you to end what your brother has started. Why do you care? You're one of the jinn. Your kind are all but immortal. Ratash was once one of my own people. If we do not succeed here, he will destroy everything I have ever cared about. And the things I have sworn to protect, including this kingdom. Why do you need me? Why not do it yourself? I have my part to play. And what is that? Do you truly not trust me? Or are you simply angry because you know what must be done and are afraid to face it? When I was younger, my father was often away at war. It was Malik who first taught me to hold a sword. How can I fight him? It is not your brother that you fight. It is Ratash. I know that. It doesn't make things any easier. You are right. Ratash and his army must be stopped. Tell me what I need to do. The city is in ruins. You will not pass through it on your own. Hotro to Hotra, Beto Mida. I have given you my memories of this place. They will help you see the city as it once was. Go on. I will meet you at the temple. That was a quick turnabout on... Uh, like, most of the banter is good, but... The writing still feels a bit off here and there. Yeah. And just thought about... Since he did kill Rakata in the second game... Would that mean he killed the, the Rakata from all timelines? Maybe. But still, mm. it would make it weird. Would it make us still weird for the third game in a way as well? I feel like they made an accident and done. Trying to do a frequency call. 
in a worse possible time, but that just make things hard for them to write the story. Okay, we can only have one of these areas be physical at a time. And let's see, Goldsmith. I thought there was a time skip between Sands of Time and War within, yeah, uh, a good seven years, according to the uh, to the uh, prince, or at least something like he was being chased by the the Haka for seven years. Could be that he started getting chased after this, but still, this this takes place sometime after Sands of Time, and you'd think with all of the timeline fucking that he did that the Tahaka would be on his ass near immediately, like it probably should be. Yeah, unless hmm. he got deleted from all timelines. Or at least this But timeline. then again... Hmm. But if that's the case, then that just opens... So many more things. Yeah, I don't want to I don't want to waste my time fighting these things so where do we need to go like we seen the timeline alter due to the, in the three original games and they did make sense just just here I feel like they ended up dropping the ball. Then I get the feeling we are need to kill them. And yeah, because this takes place between Sands of Time and Warrior Within, that explains why he has to Warrior Within get up. The city of Rakana. Once it was home of the Mare, the greatest of the tribes of the Jinn. You will be able to see some of its glory. Also, we had a point earlier. Why are you just not doing your job? I will meet you there. Like, some protector that she is, huh? Like, I, I get why people would like this game, but having come off the other Prince of Persia right before this, I cannot say I like it well much. Uh, let's see. Oh, hello. It, wait, is that her? That first statue. That... I recognize you. Who are the others? The leaders of the four tribes of the Jinn. Before the army came, this was one of our greatest cities. What happened, Captain? When King Solomon formed his empire, he allied with the four tribes of Jinn. We work together to create cities, the likes of which had never been seen. My people, the Marid, moved rivers, created aqueducts. We kept the waters flowing, bringing life to the desert. But some of us hated that human and jinn should work together. And the first among them was Ratash. He resented King Solomon and vowed to destroy his empire. Ratash combined his powers with the desert sand and wind to create an army. It was an abomination, a desecration of all that our powers had ever created. When the army attacked, King Solomon and the four tribes banded together to stop it. It was a massacre. The army grew even as we fought it. It was as endless as the sand itself. Finally, a way was found to imprison it within the seal, but not before many died, human and jinn. Very few of my people survived the battle. Of those who remained, most left the city, vowing to stay far away from the army, even though it was sealed away. And now, I am the only one left. Why do you stay here? Rakem stands in the reservoir that feeds the city above us. I swore to King Solomon that I would guard the water. Without it, the kingdom above would die. I did not realize I had been here so long. I believe I told you time passes differently for the Jinn. It was not until I felt the army's release that I realized so much had been lost. Razia! Razia! 
So basically you were napping on the job and hello. And this is all interesting and all, but this is four hours in into an eight hour game. This should have been brought up two hours ago. Yeah, but the more I see this, I feel like, I feel like it's, it's just, it's been its own thing. It actually, it had this been its own, not been a sequel prequel, but just its own thing like a 08. It might have been better perceived. Yeah. Again, the free first game did the rule timeline change. But they, but they were able to make it succeed there. Here... Less so due to it being prequel sequel, for the other ones came after each other. Then you, you saw the after effects. Here yeah. it's... Yeah, it, it just got messy. Uh, I get the feeling we need to beat all of these to continue as again. Yeah, let's see. Turn. Let's see. Goldsmith. Yes, it should be a forgotten sense with the Haka chase and not that Ratash or whatever. It's just uninteresting so far. He's just a big guy who wants to kill everything. It, he could have been made a bit more interesting if we knew what the hell he was blabbering on about every time we run into him. But no, we... We don't even get subtitles for what he's trying to say. Yeah, like I say, you could have a Tash and the Haka at, at the same time, but yeah. You are right. It seems the army's power is interfering with my own. This is not something I have seen before. We should move on before something worse happens. Oh, wait. Uh, Sounds a time noise. I just realized that when he killed the Hakka, he also destroyed the sense of time, so the whole thing never happened again. Yeah, and then the sands were recreated later, or created again anyways in Two Thrones, so... Maybe if they'd said that this was in like a split timeline or so... Like, well, that well, this would explain the origin of the Dark Prince. Uh. Yeah, uh. Not, I re remember seeing the ending where we saw the Dark Prince first appear. Which I almost forgot uh, about. I thought it was a different character. Let's see, but yeah, the, the prince having to kill his uh, brother in an alternate timeline would have been a good step towards explaining where some of the Dark Prince might have come from. Like, in Two Thrones specifically, it was because he got spawned from the, the prince's darker side, literally. But, uh, oh, yeah. No. Uh, we want that. Um, yeah, there would also need to be a sort of explanation as to what happened with the prince at all during the... <clears throat> Actually, no, there wasn't even... Because the sands didn't exist, the army was didn't even attack the, uh, the sultanate. So... Yeah. It, th this game could have been used as a way to tell what happened in the altered timeline, if anything yeah. at all. But uh, this is also the, an example, of, I think I told you long, long, long ago when we played uh, Soul Reaver games. That time travel in stories in games is not easy. Yeah. Like, you, you think, many people really think, oh, it's easy to do it by time to tell a story. No, it's not. Yeah, it is easy to write a bad time uh, travel story. Uh, but a 
good one takes a lot more work. Yeah. And when you arrogantly think it's gonna be easy, that's when the most mistakes happen. Especially if you're gonna go, eh, just hand throw, just, just do the whole hand with this I'm doing at the moment for some reason. I, I use my hands a lot apparently when I talk with mm. you. <laughs> but yeah, this city of the Jin, which isn't actually all that impressive looking at all, really. Uh, I'll, I'll say this is the game's last chance before we just drop it. Most of my days in the throne room, I was trying to sneak away. Malik was the responsible one. How will I explain to our father what happened here? You will tell the truth. Ratash killed your brother and tried to destroy this kingdom. And you saved it. We should keep moving. Yes. There is a passageway under this. It was once meant as an escape route. You'll need to get through. Be careful. The way is guarded against intruders. I'm not sure if the traps are still working. With my luck, they will be. I was about to say, with our luck? Don't have time or interest for you lots. Actually, the, those you actually kind of feel out of place. Uh, which ones? Uh, that's where we came the, from. Uh, he has made a lot of jokes about the traps. Which yeah, is they're, they're, odd, since... That would have been a, made a bit more sense after, uh, well, multiple games of dodging traps. Yeah, but it, since it's a prequel sequel, it... Yeah, you see what I mean here. Yeah. It, had this been uh. a sequel to the third game, then had the uh, combat would made so much sense. Yep. So unless in this time when he remembers what he has to... Oh, what the heck? No, 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 I'm not entering that rabbit hole. Lordy, uh, uh, the more I'm trying to see, try to write, I mean, every time we feel like I find an answer, three more heads pop off of the shop of neck of the Hydra. If that makes sense. Yeah. It's, how do we get to that one there? It's obviously being hmm, teased as all hell. Or, oh, wait. There we go. Uh, let's see. Then from here to there. The sequel is called Assassin's Creed. Yeah, I'm, I'm still a bit bitter about that every now and then. But if, though we, we do have the Lost Crown coming in now and then. Uh, okay. That's a bug. Ugh. And again, I really, really do not like that they changed climb up stuff to jump away from ledge. That has cost us how much time rewind now? Ugh. Yeah. Uh, I should. I don't know if I said this before, but I had. I had tried to. I had watched some as this is clear lower videos and. Can I find them after a while? Meh? Ugh. Like, so many people up. Like, I don't hate Assassin's Creed, but I'm not a fan either. I forgot about um, that for a second. I'm rather very neutral to Assassin's Creed. Yeah, I, I think we might stream some of the games at some point. Uh. But definitely not all of them. Like, I think we would stream... We would probably stream the first one for a baseline. 
uh, to base the rest on. But beyond that, uh, I think probably uh, Assassin's Creed 2, that little trilogy on its own, because I would say that is probably the... What did I tell you? I would say that the Assassin's Creed 2 trilogy is where the early versions of the game, of the franchise, peaked. Um, yeah, from there, maybe Black Flag, which is number four. Um, I haven't many did like the Odyssey and the Valhalla ones. Yeah, or Origins... Uh, Origins tried, and I definitely can't blame it for that. I will definitely blame it for just really dragging out its later half. And there are parts of it that I do want to, that I would want to stream. Uh, that was close. Because some of the DLC of it is really good. It's just that... Yeah, it gets dragged out. I might have to do a bit of research, play through it again, see to uh, if we can avoid most of the yeah most of the drag from that. I'll say and that's the stream timer going off. Oh, it's a time. time. But something I'm not about as a screen lore is I noticed that all the game franchises had done something similar before and. I feel like they've done it better. Yes, I feel when, when I've seen all the games do something similar and compared to us as a kid, I just feel like it's surprisingly average compared to the things that came before. Why is it being so freaking picky with this at times? Let's continue on a little bit further until we have a, a, a guaranteed checkpoint. But yeah. Mm. If you can still hear me, that it. door leads to a sanctuary. I will open it, but you must get rid of me. Okay. Sounds like we can end it after this then. And mm. I, th I think at the moment we can still continue with this game, but. I think I might change it to a side stream instead of a mainstream. So that next Thursday we instead start up with Doom and put this on the weekend. How does that sound? Yeah, at least he uh, he's the lost Prince of Persia. Yeah. So I guess we can do it on this Sunday. This is the origin of the city's water source. Without it, this place would have become a desert long ago. It is this that I have stayed to guard. By fucking off into your own little pocket dimension? Dare interfere. Yep. Wait, what? Okay, one more fight then. What? Developers, come on! I'm, I'm presuming they mean that this is some sort of magical spring that the water it, flows from, but it, I'm not seeing any outpours. Here's what we're here. The way she talked, as she went down the road, I expect her to do something there now. Yeah, she is not much of a guardian. Yeah, like, she is interesting. But the right is toss nothing with her. This means they uh. are like there are kids that can see understand what like in some games where you have an actual god who may need to be careful with their own powers so not like they tr try to open a door but accidentally blow off a half a castle. Yeah. Them holding being very more passive makes sense. Here, she is supposed to be a guardian. There we go. As okay, in her, we have a checkpoint now. Supposed to protect. 
And she leaves it up to us. Like, this is... This is supposed to be the center point of her power, supposedly, or what she's here to guard, and she doesn't guard it. Yeah. Uh. If they wanted her to not be doing anything, at least have her at least call out the corruption. But she, they yeah. don't even let her do that. Uh, you just, just in general, still, this game is such a disappointment. I really feel like it shouldn't even bear the name Prince of Persia. Uh, uh, you know what they should have done? Hmm? They should not have made it released with the movie. For one. What they should have done is continue the story for a week and make a game that fixes the story so everyone will be happy. Yeah. But they okay. did not take the chance. Now, let's have a look for someone to rate then, who is hopefully having more enjoyment from their game than us. Yeah, let me say this. I apologize if I have been loud. Yeah, not on my end, at least. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to pick a few of these out here. We have, let's see, what is Graham there? Graham the Wolf is playing The Wind Waker. Uh, a lot of people are doing software or art stuff. We have Halloween with Die Young. Okay. Oh, uh, no, no that song stuck in my head. Uh, you mean that... Uh, uh, I forget what the specific name of it was, but... One I think of us gonna die young. <laughs> okay, not, that was not what I was thinking of. I, uh, actually, if I remember correctly... Was it Vizzy Pop? The, the ones making Hell of a Boss and such. I believe they made a, a music video for a song called uh, yeah, Like We're Gonna Die Young or something, which released during an unfortunate time, so it was quickly pulled from the radios and such. Uh, yeah. But still a good little song, party song. Yeah, they have done a few songs, actually, with the music videos they've done. Yeah. Uh, let's see. What was it? Halloween uh, with, with Die Young. Let's see. Okay. Uh, but, don't know this game at all. Uh, <laughs> Goblin Grill? Dove the, but what? Uh, yeah, I'm guessing just trying out. Anyways, we have Slooptube. He is who is streaming Undertale. Oh, and they're BRBing right now. Uh, Grim the Wolf with Wind Waker. Um, and then we have Chaos D1 who is doing, uh, let's see, games and demos. The wheel decides the game. Okay. Hmm. Any of uh, those sound interesting or shall we look for someone new perhaps? Uh, let's, let me look at uh, someone new. Uh, Let's see. We have someone playing Klanoa 2, someone playing Bug Fables, uh, Kingdom 80s, someone streaming Dungeon Dragons, and then we have Iggy Maid again. Like, they, they seem to always be in my recommended. And, like, not saying they are a bad streamer or something, but I just do, I just find their whole cheese thing to be annoying. Let's see. Have they? They also they share their with someone else, I believe. Uh, yeah, they have two streamers, I believe, who just alternate or something. Um, let me just look around a bit. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> oh, I get it now. You you remember that uh, game Kingdom where you hold oh, side right. things? They this is that. This is but... the spin off. The, the, it's the same people who made the Kingdom. Wait, you remember Kingdoms now? Yeah, it's it's that, but it's in the fucking eighties. <laughs> okay, it's that developers. is funny. It is developers. They announced they were to make this. I, I, okay. I think it was even free. Just for that, shall we go raid them? We're not. I, I had forgotten about this. They were to make this. Okay. 
Uh, copy the name, slash raid, and let's see. Ultra Goldsmith, uh, loud. I've been blasting metal music all evening. Trust me, you're not being loud. Try Magic the Gathering, MTG Arena. Uh, I feel that I've proposed this before, but you didn't like it, though. Uh, what about Prototype? Uh, I'm, I'm looking... I have... I know that Magic the Gathering Arena is very liked, and I have tried it before, but I just got I just got swamped myself. And Prototype is a good game as well. I'm just looking at the, the channels that are being recommended here, not in the categories. And yeah, I'm considering streaming Prototype myself sometime. Maybe even the, some of the infamous games as well. One and two were pretty good. Second Son... Uh, I watched someone let's play that, but I never finished it because I don't think they ever finished it. <laughs> uh, I, I, I want to know prototype by name. Like, I've seen it on the game shelves and all that, but I know nothing about it. Like, I never even picked up a cover and read it in the back. I just, oh, prototype. All right. Oh, there's nothing else. I, I always saw it and always walked past it. Okay, then, then it'll definitely be a surprise for you. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, as things stand as of now, we're going to move Forgotten Sands to one of the side projects or just some Saturday, Sunday evening. And then, yeah, Thursday we will get started on Doom 2016. And yeah, there are two prototype games. Uh, I've never played the second one myself. And honestly, I don't really find I don't really want to since uh, th this would be a big ass spoiler for it, it would be as big as spoiler uh, for the first game to talk about that one but I just I don't like where they took the story so I don't find it likely that I would stream it and yeah I like the first one <laughs> better as well uh, <clears throat> Anyways, then, uh, moving Forgotten Sands to the weekend as a side quest or just putting that on Sunday uh, evening. And Doom 2016 getting started on early in, well, two days on Thursday. And yeah, we'll see what else we will start as side quest, perhaps. Uh, if we, mm, we'll see. Yeah. I, on one part, I, I am a bit curious where all of this gin stuff is going. But the rest of the game just does not interest me. Yeah, like we have all the side quest games already planned, but part of me does feel like if we've moved this uh Prince of Persia game we could do on, on Sunday and maybe start early if possible, just to try and finish it off. Also, uh, can you see the highlighted bits? Uh, I changed this a, a month or two, three ago, and you still never noticed. <laughs> yeah, of course, you never moved down for me to see it. <laughs> this is the first time each actually could see and read that, and you still get it wrong. It's Lieutenant. Uh, yeah, anyways, pet? then. Pet? <laughs> pet? <laughs> Okay, that was the one I wanted the reaction to. Uh, oh, I show uh, you, Pat boy. Uh, 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 it's it's no, uh, just spinning balling my ideas here. God of War is cool. Yep, I'm thinking of the God of War reboot. Not not really reboot. The new God of War and well Ragnarok at some point perhaps. Yeah. No. Uh, hmm. Those you will stream on your own for, I had tried those, and I was bored of out of my mind and felt no interest. <laughs> okay. Uh, but yeah, if if you have any more suggestions... Uh, wait, oh, right, I, right, right, I swapped the bot, so it's now to a full word of it. Yeah, if, if you're interested, you can put those... Uh, you can put any suggestions in, well, the suggestion box below. Or on the Discord, since we have a suggestions box there as well, I believe. Let me double check. Uh, ta -da -ta. Uh, yeah, stream wrecks. Uh, I s people, everyone should be able to see this and put the games here. Uh, if not, I'll fix that uh, <clears throat> some other time. Uh, because oh, I'm just dear. still a, I'm just still partially annoyed, and it's just bloody hot as well still. Uh, but yeah, enough chatter. Uh, 
let me just put that back in and yeah uh let's start up the raids and yeah thank you everyone who has been watching now or later thank you ultra goldsmith and marco and thank you as always Rick here you're welcome as always my friend and uh for ultra there we do some letter games i think you can say we did the legacy of king games yeah, we've we've done games from the '90s, and I think one from '89-ish, and maybe not pixel retro era, but still, feel free to suggest games uh, wherever you, you know, want. And uh, yeah, <laughs> for now though, uh, thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then, be safe, everyone, and watch out for sand seagulls or, or zombie seagulls.